Steve from DeltaIsGaming.com with a couple special guests here to do a special video on Sky Shard Hunting and Cyrodiil. For those of you that don't know, there's about 15 skill points you can pick up picking all the Sky Shards up in Cyrodiil. These two are experts on it, Kodog and Medge. Medge and Kodog, how are you guys doing? Doing good, Delta. How are you doing, doing this morning? Good. Kodog? Doing good. I see you, have, you brought your uh, fast horse, or oh, yeah. uh, lack thereof. <laughs> All right, so tell us about Sky Shards in general. Like, what what do you guys generally do before we get started? Well, we get everybody grouped up, and we find a campaign that doesn't have a lot of activity. Um, and we, it doesn't matter what level you are, because if there's enough people, as long as you're a level 10 that can get into Cyrodiil, you can come in and do the Sky Shards with everybody. And then we kind of explain some of the silly things that um, are important in Cyrodiil, like don't die. <laughs> don't bring your pack horse <clears throat> don't bring your pack horse because you'll be the slow guy at the end he'll get you know yanked off by a wolf and killed um, all right cool. when you die in Cyrodiil you have to be rezzed by somebody otherwise you end up all the way back here and you have to ride to everybody so are you ready to get started yeah all right what's our first objective here let's go up to that um I need the sky shard up at lips and tarn Okay, I'm going to give you lead if you want to mark it. Okay. So for those of you who don't know, I you can shift left the click. Of Aluma. It's always helpful to have a leader who can mark on the map. Yeah, there, Let's I put the shift rally point on there. To now, you know what I've noticed down here, Dell, is if you look close at that gate, like if you zoom in on your map, you can see there's hash marks inside the gate icon. So it looks like the gate is closed, which actually means the gate is closed. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Kind of cool. I learned that last time we were in here. Yeah, to open the gate, you have to have basically all the blue home keeps uh, taken. Yeah. So, so I don't know that we'll be able to get through it, but we can go check it out. Okay, yep. So, how far up can we get on the traveling? So, we can port to either Castle Robeck or Castle Brindle. That's the closest we can Let's get to there. Let's go to Brindle, because you know what? I need this sky shard up here. I'm going to change the rally point. Hit that on the way. So now this isn't your first rodeo doing this or leading groups, am I right? Nope. We've so, done four uh, Sky Shard hunts now. So that's something that you do for the community, like you, you rally up the people and, and do it. Like, What's the most you've ever had people show up? We had a, a full group in Serials 24, so we had a full group plus about a half another group. So like 36 or so. Yeah. Yep. That's kind of cool. Good. How'd you get here so fast? Uh, PvP bonus. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. And we are on the Hatteras server. This is one of the more dead servers, if you will, for um, North American. Um, all the Mary Dominion faction usually takes it over. Reds have taken over over the night like they always do. Then we spend the day trying to flip it back uh, full. When, you, when oh. you do this, inevitably you're going to have people going at different speeds. So the important part, though, is just make sure everybody knows how to sprint on their horse and stay sprinting. A lot of Some people don't know that you can sprint forever on a horse, and they'll just lag really far behind. So make sure people are sprinting the whole time, even if they're on a slow horse. And what we learned is you don't have to wait up for everybody, um, because the people who are faster can get there and start killing the enemies, and it does make it go faster. You can group up if you want and stay grouped, but it's going to take a lot longer than if you just, you know, everybody sprints ahead and, and starts killing the enemies. So yeah, you brought up a good point about spring on your horse. If you look under your stamina bar, um, there's like a, a separate little green bar that's your horse sprinting stamina. So even if it runs out completely, you still can sprint. You'll just get knocked off your horse right away. I'm going to kill this troll and then I'm going to show you something really cool though. There's a trick. That I've learned here. If I want everybody to group up, I do this. Recognize it? Oh, okay, the shield bubble. It's really awesome for helping people, especially when you're inside a cave. When we go in this cave, I'll show you how I can use it to kind of help everybody find their way through the cave and not get lost. Because huh, in Cyrodiil, the enemies come back like instantly. It's crazy. You can be at the far end of a cave and then you have to fight your way back out again. 
That's a cool idea. And real quick, before we go on this, this is a delve, and I want to explain something important. If you look at my map uh, in the top middle bar, you'll notice that it's blacked out. There are certain mobs in here that have to be killed to complete the delve, essentially. There's a really cool achievement for it. Um, so not only does it have sky shards, but there's bosses in here you can get achievements for. And uh, experience, of course. Ready? Yep. Let's well, I, got, go I got a Rambo and get everything. Hold on, come on. Oh, Rambo. Come on. This is not the Deltia's gaming method. Sorry, I forgot for Deltia. I'm healing. That's awesome. I'm healing everything to death. <laughs> nice. Oh, remember my lectures. <sighs> oh, there's a book here, too, someplace. You know, Cyrodiil has a ton of books, and it's a really great place to pick them up as you're running around. So, f before we get going, for those that don't know, Sky Shards are basically fragments of of whatever crystals that give you a skill point. You need three of them to get one skill point. That way you can basically unlock all the sorts of skills that you want in your character. I have 285, because so I've got a lot. Lore books, on the other hand, are specifically tied to the Mage's skill. So you have an experience bar for your Mage's skill, which unlocks better and better abilities. So when we talk about Sky Shards, think skills. When we talk about lore books, think um, Mage's skill. So real quick, let me show them Mage's skill. So I have Mage's skill 10, um, but I think every book gives you 10 points. Is that right? Or That's my understanding, yeah. So I, you, I can tell you the next a, time because I'm a level 8 right now in this character. There's a lot of books to get. And once you basically the books will appear uh, purplish, and then once you click them, they go away. So I have every single one in the game, so I probably won't be able to show you what that looks like, unfortunately. Oh, there's one in here. I'm going to put a rally point on it. Um, can you take a picture can... of it so I can upload it? Yeah, definitely. And I'm not positive about this, but I think the lore books in Cyrodiil are ones that you find elsewhere in the world. Oh, you're because right. We've noticed some people have them on their map and some don't, even though they have not been here to collect that book. So You're right. This is one of the harder dungeons to do. Grouchy and I did this at level 20 together, and it, it, took, a, it took an entire weekend to do this. I love this bear boss. Awesome. So yeah, you can tell it's a boss by the, uh, the top bar. You see it has three little, I don't know, squares on it? So well, let me show them something real quick about okay. the, the delves and the achievements. Uh, if you go to your achievements list, dungeons, let's see, where is this one at? Or is it is it separate in Cyrodiil? Um, it's not. It's I think it's under Exploration. Exploration? Ah, Cyrodiil. Yeah. Okay. Cyrodiil, Cave Delver. There it is, yeah. So there's some that I haven't got. Just, just uh, Cyrodiil, Cave Delver. Delver. So I haven't done this one actually. Blood main. I haven't at all. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's a cool brown color. But this is how you know if you've killed all the bosses in here. And if you click on it, it tells you which bosses you're missing or what you're what you need to do. So don't think Cyrodiil is just PvP. It's a lot of fun PvE stuff too. Especially if you're Levin. It's, it's a lot of fun. And I got you guys see my new character, right? I'm leveling again. Oh, nice. Dunmer, is this a new character? Dunmer Dragonite. No, not this <laughs> guy. I'm I going, didn't think so. I'm going Dumber Dragonite for the consoles, baby. I know it's cheesy. It is cheesy. But it's so effective. Do you want me to take a picture of this sky shard? Do you have yeah, it? Yeah, take a I yeah, take a picture of it lit up. Okay. But that's what a sky shard it. looks like uh, without without when you've already collected it. Ooh, aspect rune. I would do this on my <laughs> Okay. Good to go. Let's kill him and then I'll levitate. Mm, sure. This is another boss. I need this guy. And the book. So if you're trying to be quick and effective, like Med said earlier, get in, k kill everything quickly, and get out as fast as you can because they do spawn pretty quick. If Ooh, you have to fight your way it. back out, that's just that much longer uh, in order to do all these. Okay. Hey, I got, go. I got the achievement for it now. Sky Shard. When you get a full group of 24 in here, this sky shard flash that you can't see on your screen. It, it really lights blinding. up, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. Your whole screen turns white. Okay, here's the book here. I'm going to take a screenshot of this. Oh, the loot. I, I thought you could, I thought you could grab that loot. you're standing on the book. Oh, sorry. Shinies, I get so happy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ooh, another okay. aspect rune. Dude, this is the cave. You know what? They come back to some of the longer caves. You can um, get them several times. Don't be telling people about my aspect rune trick. Oh yeah, these do respawn really fast, huh? See? Told ya. It's a great way to get experience. I don't know if you're seeing that, but I, like that bear, I just got 212 veteran points off of it. That's not bad. If you're in here with a big group and you do want to try to get some XP, like you're low, lower level and you still need to level, um, try to get one good hit on, on every enemy. So use one ability, that your strongest one, and, and just or tag heal. that enemy. Throw a resto staff on and heal the group because that counts. Yep, healing will work point. too. And uh, treasure chests give you experience too, so let me unlock this. Go for it. No, I suck at doing that, but here we go. Uh. I've come in here on one of my lower levels, you know, closer to level 10, and probably gained three levels just by going through and doing most of the sky shards. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you know what else you can do is, and we didn't do this at the beginning, but when you're at the main town, you can pick up uh, quests there. And then as you go through the delves and stuff, there's quests that you can pick up. About every one you turn in is about 4,000 experience. Speaking of the quest, if you guys don't know that there's like five towns in Cyrodiil that you can get, there are quest hubs that you can do every day. Each of them has 10 quests. Um, they're actually pretty fun too. So if you want, a lot of role players come out here to do questing because it's, you know, the threat of getting killed type thing. Um, yeah. They're pretty cool if you haven't experienced them. Like Chaden Hall, some of the some of the uh, the places that were in Oblivion, you can go back and visit, and it's fun. Yeah, any Oblivion um, lore people would really enjoy coming in here. Bruma. I put the new rally point on. All right, I'm just killing, mindlessly killing stuff. This is the point, too. Like, when you get out of this cave, get the next area marked so people can get going towards it, and that keeps the whole group moving. Ah, uh, good point. Yeah. And you kind of, if you have a map of it, it helps. You know what else is near that rally point is a dolmen. I don't know if you want to show a dolmen, Del, but... Sure. There's a dolmen there. So let's talk about dolmens. For those of you who don't know, dolmens like, are basically spawns in the area that have like Daedric dudes. <laughs> That's an official <laughs> term. Daedric dudes. Daedric dudes. And I'm going to do a separate guide on dolmens, but for the sake of this video, we'll talk about it and show you how it's done. It's a lot of fun. Um, they basically spawn... A bunch of guys you have to kill to kind of progress the dolmen and then you're closing it just think of it as a portal from oblivion or um, that you have to close up otherwise they infest the area now the, the worst part about dolmens if you're trying to sneak up on sejanus and someone goes flags that dolmen <laughs> and they know you're coming not saying i've ever done that but i've witnessed it <laughs> All right, let's do the cave first. Oh, I haven't got this one done either. Is it be oh, cool. Breakneck Cave? Yeah, Breakneck Cave. Oh, there's enemies here. I'm going to aggro them just because I can. I'm going to pop this to show you what I would do, that the entrance is over here. That is, yeah, you guys, you can tell that you've done this before. <laughs> it helps. It gives people who are trying to find you a way to locate you from a distance. Yeah, I would never even thought to have done that. You know, actually it was you that gave me the idea. Really? What did yeah, I say? Yeah, you were, you were getting us all together for PvP, and you were showing us that, and you said, come over here to the siege bubble. You were trying to get us all in the same place. Sometimes it's hard. <laughs> it is. <laughs> quit, quit looking at the butterflies, guys. If you've already gone and done this on your main, or you know any any of your mains, um, don't forget that if you have a crafter or something, this is a great way to get skill points. So just get them up to level ten, and uh, you can come and get. Do we know how many sky shards this is? Like, it's almost fifteen or something. It's, it's a lot of sky shards. Fifteen skill points, so that would be forty-five essentially. I think. Yeah, yeah, fifteen skill points. Sorry. Yeah. So let me see. Okay, so this is a good one. I'm gonna run ahead of you here, Dale. Well, I'll let you kill stuff, and I'll go around you killing things. And I'm going to go over to where... Yeah, this way. So I want you to come this direction, so that we can try and get this boss back here. And I think oh, an there's, there's three bosses in every dungeon. 
And they're on different timers too, so you can, they're not like always going to be up. Ooh, a Rakuda! Nice. nice. Yeah. All right, so there's a boss down here. Is yeah, his name cool is. Spider Nugget? Plus, it lights up the area, so if you're having trouble seeing something or, or getting something. That back here, is he? Yeah, yeah, it's Longfang. Oh, he is here. Cool, I don't have this boss. Die, Longfang. I forgot how fun leveling is, just dinking around. It's so much fun. It is. It's just no pressure, right. it's just... Then you're in Cyrodiil. Too many things to kill. Ooh, too many shinies. What's a shiny? Oh, that's ore. What character are you on, Koda? Uh, my Sork. Oh, cool. Oh, well, you're not streaking past us? I'm amazed. Uh, I had, didn't have time to set up my bar. Oh, I do have streak on my bar. Look at that. There you go. I'll just Dang streak it. everywhere. Thanks for the reminder. Yeah, whatever. That's one of those skills that I miss when I'm not on the Sork. That streak is amazing. I can say when you have complicated dungeons like this, if you have um, low bees in here, it can get hard on them if they get lost. They can get killed really easily. It's really important to remind them if they die to not res. Um, let somebody come in with some sky shards and, or not sky shards, soul gems. And anyway. they have to be grand soul gems here, so not the low ones. Yeah. So in that's... preparation, make sure everybody has uh, some grand soul gems. And At least, you know, a couple people that have them. There's all sorts of aspect runes here. Uh huh. Every cave has four or five that I've seen. Wow. If you go with Deltia, you won't get anything. Um, oh. So try to avoid his groups if you want to get things like Aspect I will runes. loot everything. Oh, yeah, Aspect Rune up there! Shiny! <laughs> they'll, they'll show you how to go through. Okay, so here's one of the times I would say to get this Sky Shard, you're going to come up here. Because it gets a little complicated. Yeah, and think if you've got 30 plus people in here, you know, trying to find your way around. It really does help to have somebody communicate it. We usually try to ask one person to bring in a, a high-level tune, because it just makes life so much easier. It's usually one of us, though, because we don't have any tunes that haven't done this. I gotta get the aspect room, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, go for it. I want Sky Shards today. And so, it'll definitely be people like Delta in your group that makes it so that you have to fight your way back out. Because <laughs> they're going <laughs> to aggro everything. <laughs> And then I eventually like combat. you get to the point where you just say, you know what, I'm leaving you. Deal with it. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm good. Which way's out? It's south. It's leader. But I think, do you want to try oh, to click complete a... the dungeon? I think there's a boss yeah. or two. There's a boss to our uh, other side here. I'm going to put a rally point on it. Yeah, definitely. That's something, you know, talk about with your group and see. Do you want this to be a completion run or do you just want sky shards? We've done both. Um, so it's fun to come and get all the, the bosses. But sometimes people just want to go get the skill points, and we've done that too. And so then we do, you know, if the boss is up, we'll kill it, and if it's not, we won't. So we'll just move on. One thing is, if you're in the dun, if you're in the group, and you're in the dungeon, you went the wrong way. The boss is the other way. Oh, I just if, saw if, enemies. A shiny. Um, if you're in the dungeon, you get the cover. You, you get it if we kill the boss. So like, if you were really? at the front still. And I killed the boss out here, it would still count in Cyrodiil. Now, it's not the same everywhere, but here it's the same. I don't know that. Yeah, yeah, we did figure that out. Even if you're at the very entrance of the cave, you'll get credit. So We That's tested cool. it. Which is nice for the people who want to collect, you know, you know, they're level 10. They want to get their potency runes and stuff. They don't really want to fight. Plus, you get 30 people in here, it takes like a second to kill the boss. You saying my DPS sucks? Yes. <laughs> You're taking way too long to kill. All right. Well, let me go Jester Chef then. Ooh, I got another completion. Ew. I might actually have to come do this. This is kind of fun. You never thought I would say that. No, I didn't. Actually, I'm kind of. I don't. I don't know. What to do that. Look, okay, it's over this way. Then, if you run past the spider and don't hit it, it won't attack you. Codog. Codog uh, hit it. It was aggroed. 
See how all these enemies are back? You just killed these guys. I can see yeah, where you get a lot of experience. Little, some dungeons, no matter how fast you go, you're going to have to fight your way out. Because they're just bigger dungeons, like this one. Which is cool. You get a lot of coin. A lot of loot. And potions. So that's another thing. You know, every once in a while, take a break at a keep that you own. Uh, and we can show you that when we're out of here. Um, but make sure you remind everybody, uh, repair your gear. Oh, wait. Sell stop Sell your here. loot. Stop, 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 stop. Oh. Sorry. I wanted to show the shadow. Oh, shadows are cool. Shadow? Yeah, next time I find one, I'll show you. Oh, dog ruined it. Um, you know what else is cool? Is you get a lot of, um, strange things. Del, if you look in your pocket, you'll probably see, like, uh, what are they called? Caparises or something like that? You get foul hides. Things that sell for money. I'm not even yep. looting. Oh, someone's down here. Is it a friendly? Probably. Yeah, it's a friendly. And yeah, make sure you have good uh, inventory space before doing this, because you get a lot of loot. One of the things that we do is um, we put a rule out when we do this that we're going to be PvE only, and we're only going to defend ourselves. So if we run into a set of blues that are doing delves, you don't we'll just let them. we won't attack them. We'll just let them go. And if they let us go, more the better. I say blues because I may the have ones ganked that someone. That let us go. The reds attack. <laughs> I may have ganked a group of blues doing this before. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Are we following the leader who is not going the right way? Yeah, yeah, the leader's going the wrong way. Set a rally point. You can have two people sort of leading, that's very helpful, like Medj and I are in the same room, so I, I kind of run the map and will tell her where to put the markers and stuff. It makes it a lot easier on her, because she's leading everybody, and I can just tell her where to go. Well, and we have people that don't come in. One of the best things about this is communication. So having TeamSpeak or Vox or any of the ability to talk to each other makes it a lot easier. Otherwise, you have to type everything in chat, and that takes a lot of effort. Serial load screen. Gotta, gotta love it. It is so a cool screen. So do you want to show going to a keep? Yeah, we're going to go try and do that gate. Okay. Oh, do but you want to keep to resell, you mean? Yeah, yeah, good good chance to repair and sell and, you know, take a quick bio or something. This is long. If you do this all in one sitting, I think we found it's about, about four, four hours. hours or so. Depending on how quick your group is. Uh, the Dullman is here. And then we can go over to the, the um, Nickel Outpost from there. A Nickel is how you call it. Oh, really? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally screwing with you. <laughs> nice. You're the PvP master. I'm still working on it. So same thing with dolmens. If you've done it before, it's going to be like white on your map. And if you haven't, it's going to be darkened. So I've done all of these, I think, out here. I just got 716 points. Experience points for discovering this dolmen. Hold on, let's, l let's let it actually proc. No problem. Yeah, if you're watching this from your console player, dolmens are one of the cooler things in the game, leveling up. <laughs> I love them. You can attack right away, and it'll pop it instantly, or you can wait and watch it. You ever so, notice the sacrifice gets stabbed by the Dolman? I, ha I haven't. Yeah, they sacrifice him, but when, you mean the thing shoots down on him? Yeah, watch the guy floating. It, it shoots down and <laughs> crushes him. <laughs> kind of cool. See? That is cool. <laughs> Just vaporize them. <laughs> Die! You vampire lovers! Oh. oh wait, I'm a vampire. <laughs> and all these are scaled to VR5. I don't know if that will be the same in the consoles or what, but the mobs are a higher level. Now you get scaled to VR5, I think, too, but... So you're not going to go yeah. in there with 100 health. I'm going for my chain achievement. Is anybody else going for it? Uh, is that where you get all the uh, mobs? Or what? No, you got uh, all these um, anchor chains. What's you have that? To press a hundred of them. Oh, oh yeah. 
this thing over here that's collecting the souls. It's called an anchor pinion. You have to destroy a hundred of them. And then once See it that? once it goes like that, that's when you can click it. And then you'll get full health and full stamina. So and magicka. Yep. So if you're about to die, you can always go click this. Yep, go for it. Click that one. And you have to get Glitch. all the pinions down before it comes out. You can leave them up. And then do them all one shot. See, the, so that as you kill them, they get filled up. Then once you get it all done, it brings like a boss or a final mob. And you have a chance of spawning a rare boss, which is for an achievement. I don't even have that one. That's a really cool one, the Daedric Lore achievement. Yeah. We actually, uh, I just ran with a guild. We actually went boss hunting and got it for three people. Some of the names are great, too, of the bosses. What's the one that you like, Koda? I like the three, oh. like, yeah, there's... Dozokar. Son of... Son of Moloch Ball. Son of Moloch Ball. Oh, we didn't oh. get one, dang it. I not like this guy. It's hard. He did! I'm gonna hit it. And then uh, the middle one procs, and that's what destroys it. He did the dolman. Oh, did I get a chest? I got a chest. I'm gonna wait. Let it, uh, stop bouncing around. So everybody in the party gets the chest. So there's, there's a lot of things to do out in Cyrodiil besides PvP. Sky Shards, Lore Books, Dolmens, Delves. Lots of content out here. Missions? Did yeah, that? questing. Ooh, let's go up to, uh, can we go there by it while we're on the gate and show them the questing hub? Go for it. Yeah, uh, hang on, I'm gonna put up. I don't, I don't remember what, is that Coral? That's, that's my favorite one, I think. Can you click it again? Yep. Oh, okay. And if you're not the group leader, you can hit Control, click. Left click, and that's what it does that. But the group leader can only set the rally point. Yeah, and the rally points don't go away, which is really handy if you've got people joining you. It's fun because you can start this in the morning and people can come and go as they have time. Oh, that's one of the things I was going to tell you. Do you know why we're in here so early in the morning, Del? Uh, why? There's less activity at the gates. Oh, yeah. The gates are open, then you can go right through. We're going to try and go through a gate, right? Oh, if uh, you pull up your can't. map, Dell, you'll see we're actually, uh, there's a battle going on near us. That's something to kind of keep an eye on. Oh, yeah. Where is it? Let's take a look. Well, you it's, have uh... Fort Ash, and then if you're trying to avoid battles, there'll be two axes fighting each other, which will indicate which factions. Or it looks like ADs just trying to flip back the Emperor. Oh, keeps. we have an area of interest. Go left. Go left. Areas of interest give you a lot of experience points, and there's an achievement for those, too. Cyrodiil, just like in all the other places. Oh, look, I have a quest here. Anybody wants to pick it up? Bet it's for Choral. Dude here. Where is she? You haven't seen my well, well, lost. We fled Pell's Gate, heading for the town of Lost. Hey, come up to it's so fun. You're PVEing. No, I mean PVP's fun too, but. <laughs> all right, where's that area of interest? It's way up there. Whoa, that's way up there, yeah. Or, I mean, the quest. Oh, yeah, I'm not going for the quest. I'm just going for the area of interest. The quests in Cyrodiil are kind of hard. Like, you'll pick up one here, and it'll be on the very far upper side of the map. Oh, so this is interesting. This is full of enemies here. You can get close enough to ping it and then run away. Okay, on to Choro. I think it's Coral. It might be Broom or one of the other ones, but we'll see. I think it has this like lava pit. It's super awesome. Uh, yep, it's cor Coral. Choral, however you pronounce it. In Oblivion, it was pronounced Choral. I thought oh. it was Coral. In Oblivion, it was Choral. Was it really? Yeah. Characters called it Choral. My memory's not that good enough. I loved Oblivion. 
Yeah, I remember the first time closing an Oblivion Gate. That's what the dolmens <laughs> kind of feel like. Yeah. And that's, that's why they're right. so cool. I was so scared when I went into that like Oblivion Gate. I'm like, oh my god, there's little Daedra <laughs> critters running around. And so this town is somewhat unique. It has like two separate areas, one to the south and then one north. So some of the quests will have you going up and down. Uh, you notice Kodog skipped oh. the uh, enemies. The enemies. Medge did not. Yeah, Medge ran right through. <laughs> and then... I can say that we've gone in here with groups that, oh, with people who don't have a horse, and it's really harsh. Oh wow. I want to show you um, the Alien Wells, too. Do you guys know about those? Oh, yeah. Let's go look at those. Right here, isn't there? Yeah, I think we have to go around this mountain range. But for those of you who don't know, the Alien Wells give you like a 10% XP boost to your group. So it's a big shiny. You have to actually wait to click it so everyone's around. But it gives you a lot of XP. So, Dal, tell me, what's the difference between this gate and the other gates? Okay, so this gate is just like... You can move through it. Now, the... If we look, there's four, uh, four gate, one gate, two gates, four gates, yeah. There's Nimok, there's Al Maroon. So what the gates mean essentially is that you have to have the home keeps to get them. So Daggerfall's home keeps are Rails, Glade Mist, Warden, Ash, Brindle actually, and I think Allswell. So if you capture all those, that opens the gate. So until you, it's basically incentive for you, because the whole point of it is you have to capture those gates to get the last Elder Scroll, to get their home Elder Scrolls. So that's why it's so hard to get that. Two and things for Cyrodiil for you here. This is fresh water. You can swim through it. There is non-fresh water. It's still fresh water, but it's got um, slaughterfish. slaughterfish in it, and they'll kill you. Yeah, there's a lot of slaughterfish in the uh, Cyrodiil. If you're not sure, don't do it. Don't click this well until your whole team or everybody who wants it is by it. Yeah, see, I'm going to stand over here now. I'm going to come over. Click, shiny. It's a big shiny. Look at my HP. Boom! 3,600. Sweet. Yeah, you were saying XP earlier, so it's, it's health points. Oh, HP. I'm sorry. HP. Oh, yeah, I love this sound. Cornflower. Cyrodiil has a lot of materials in it, so if you're going to farm, I know that you can get a lot of them here. Oh, this is the place where I always fall in the lava and die. <laughs> now, here's a trick that we have. I know it's not the greatest thing in the world, but we do mass suicides. Oh, the only way to travel is to die, really. So sometimes... If your next shard is a long way away or something, go ahead and just suicide to uh, enemies, and then you can um, it'll take you back to your gate, and from there you can travel to one of your keeps that you own. So, so essentially, if we were doing this and we got all the way through the gate, and then we didn't want to ride back, we'd just kill ourselves, go back to the Ellsworth gate, and then we could travel to Fairhill and hit the other side of the map. Yep. And so here's some of the quests. Now, there's an achievement for getting all these done in each town. Uh, it's one of the cooler achievements in the game, so you have to do that. And these quests are pretty cool. They'll have you go kill uh, like a, a boss, they'll have you go and delve, they'll have you go, like do stuff inside the town. But this is what one of the towns look like. So, this is my favorite one, Kuala Lava. Since we can't go through the gate, do you want to go look at the gate? Yeah, let's just go up there and talk about it. Okay, I put a rally point on it, and we can talk about how you can get through it. Um, and then we could do a suicide and go to the far side because I thought we could show them the werewolf and the um, giant. The giant? The giant. Because oh, the giant is one, one of the places you can lose people <laughs> so easily. I hate the giant. It's so easy. Found a good way to get up there. The yeah, do you take the, the elevator thing? Nope. We found a so easy way to get up there. And right. it'll get you uh, an area of, two area of interest, I think, yep. on your way, so it's nice. I went through um, a more friendly way to put suicide too. I think some people call it uh, blood porting. Oh! So you're not saying suicide. Um... I like that. <laughs> I'm gonna call it that from now on. Yeah, some people might get offended by that. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it, but it, it's what you're doing. 
So why is everything here blue? Oh, I'm getting attacked. You went too close to the mage tower. Why is everything blue? Is that what Traskin? Uh, basically, these are this is Blue's area. So if you're on this faction, this is where you start. Ebonheart's northeast, then eighty south. So these are your home keeps, essentially. I got knocked off my horse, so I can't get back on because I'm still in combat. I'll ride up to the gate. Oh, I left combat. All right. So what we learned here is um, we were taught by a friend how to go through this using a bit of a, a rabbit technique. So I will play. I, I'm going to pretend to be the rabbit. So really, you can really see. helpful to have a dragon knight or a uh, templar here. Um, okay. So if you if the gate was open, so that thing wasn't down, you'd have everybody group up back here. Get off my horse. Yeah, everybody group up back here, all on their horses. Everybody but the rabbit. Okay. And then once you have everybody here, you send your rabbit out and. What I would do is I would run all the way through this gate and aggro. I'm going to kind of aggro some of these guys to show you what it looks like. Good to have a shield up or yeah. reflective scales. See, and then they're all attacking me and everybody else can run through while they're all attacking me. And as the other people run through and you get to the other side, just heal everybody because yep. people are going to get hit. Sometimes you have people die. It's not too hard to res them. Somebody dies right near the gate, usually you can stand in, in between the gate and not get hit and, and still res them. So that's something to keep an eye on. Or you can just be a Dragonite and do this. I'd be a Dragonite. Can't die. <laughs> okay, so we were going to Bloodport? Yeah, let's Bloodport. So I'm going right. to go up here and let them die. Oh. So the, yeah, there's four sky shards uh, that are probably the hardest to get because you have to go behind enemy lines. Um, and you have to go through the gates. Yep. So you have to own all the keeps, uh, all the all their home keeps. Uh, the gate has to be open, and then you have to get the whole team through the gate. Let's go to Blood Main. Okay. The crown is there. Stack on the crown. Down. Oh, here, look at here, Del. You know this guy with the clipboard right here? This is who you sell to. Yeah, the siege merchant. You can sell and repair. Uh huh. And oh, wow, by siege. Air bill here. This is where you can sell off that enter your miscellaneous terraces. Elemental. Al elemental essence, yeah. So the werewolf one's right to the northeast, right? Yep, that's where we're going to go. So you I have, have a special one. trick to get this? I do. We just yellowed in there and died to well, slaughterfish. It... Yeah, you can die to the slaughterfish, or you... and you have to kill all the werewolves or you can't do it. That's part of it. So I know you're going to have fun killing the werewolves. But you can do it without dying to the... Now, will these werewolves give you a werewolf bite? I don't think so. Rally point on. There's actually two right here. There's uh, a couple of sky shards. I don't have them. I have them all, so. Yeah, showing them this and the giant would be really helpful. Yeah. If you have loot that you want to keep, uh, but you want to free up some space, you can always email it to a friend and ask them to bounce it back to you. Yep. Beltia likes to fill up my mail. Yeah, you just have to basically send them a mail with six items and say return, and then all you do is return it. So it's a way to offload a bunch of stuff. Yep. I killed death ratio is not so high. The blood porting's not good for my ego. <laughs> <laughs> You know, sometimes when I've just had a stressful day, I like to just head out a little bit there. I like to ride around in Cyrodiil and uh, just look at things. It's cool. I do like how the landscape changes based on which which part of the map you're in. Definitely. 
So the giant is definitely an ord. There's um a couple of strange places here. There's a there's a guy who has his wife died and he brought her back to life and uh he has a whole family of skeletons that hang out with him. Okay, so these are werewolves. I'm gonna aggro one to let you see him become a werewolf. Ah, I'm healing again. Okay, so it's down here at the dock. You can go either way. I go this way because you gotta get all these anyway. They come and attack you anyhow. And just do what Del does best and aggro them all and <laughs> kill them. Now this water below us is uh, slaughterfish, right? Yeah, don't fall in the water. You'll die. You can't get out of it. Once you're in it, you can't get out. I've Breath of Life my way through it one time. Oh yeah? Yeah, you can jump in Breath of Life if, if you're high enough level and your Breath of Life hit hard, hits hard enough. That's awesome. There's okay. a way to get back up, I'll show you. Okay, so here's what I know. You come down here to the boat. The sky shard is right here. I already have. Okay, then you come out to the edge and you jump off right here. Now this guy, the first person out, has to kill him. Werewolf. That's... Okay, now come up here. Jump, and I, I usually put a... Do the Skyrim jump? Yeah, do Skyrim jump and just jump up, and now you're out. See? Yeah, that's and the I way put I a rally it. point there. It's helpful to have somebody with healing in case somebody messes up and is in the water too long. Okay. Yeah, speaking of which, let's giant. show them. Let's show them slaughterfish quick. Oh, okay. So I'll, I'll go in here since I'm in Dragonite. Right. Look at the color of the water. You'll notice there's like little bubble things in here. So watch. Oh, slaughter fish. Yeah, that hits hard. Oh, come on. Oh, oh brother life. I'm healing you. I'm ah. healing you. All right, we got it. <laughs> There's an achievement for getting killed by slaughter fish. Oh, I've already got that one, believe me. <laughs> I've got that a few times. Okay, so let's do the giant. Because that's the only other hard one. I'm curious to see what entrance you guys go. It might be best to take this this bridge over. And then move up this way. Yeah, let's do that. I'll follow your lead. Did the uh, where is this thing? It, we need the Tower Mundus Stone, if you can see. What's that one to the right? Up. Right. Down. Sound muted. So, a couple things to know that if it's your first time in Cyrodiil, the most valuable keeps are this inner ring. That's how you get Emperor, is taking all these inner ring keeps. So if you're trying to avoid fighting, uh, you want to stick it on the outside of those, because that's where the, the hot action is, is right on the inside of those rings. Um, because that's what people want to get as the Emperor, so they have to take these keeps here. So if you hang on the outskirts, you can get up and move around pretty easily. Now, I don't know what consoles, if there's going to be a dead server or not, it's probably going to be pretty active, but... This is Hatteras on the PC, so Hatteras is one of the more quieter uh, campaigns, if you will. So that's why we came here. You see, there's an add-on you can get for all the Sky Shards that shows them whether you have them or not. Really handy. But there's a lot of maps, too. Up. Yeah, this is a ride up there. Yeah. Well, it's because we can't port up there. Have you ever got uh, kicked off? Kicked off? Yeah, Grouchy one time got all the way on top of the mountain and started fighting a giant, and it kicked him off the mountain. That's oh, awesome. Hardy was telling me that happened to him, too. Yeah, he died yeah. and had to, like, all this, yeah. They did nerf giants a while back, so they have a lot less HP now. It was a hey, fight. I don't have this sky shard here. What is this sky shard? Oh, there's I'll a dolmen in, the in the distance. The giant. Wow, the view distance is crazy. You can see this this uh, dolmen all the way out here. That's awesome. Isn't that over the Imperial City? Oh, is that? That's no. the Imperial City. Is it? Yep. I think it is. If it's kind of straight into your left, some then it's Imperial City. 
Now this one is just right out here in the open. It is. Look at that. This one. Wow, this I don't one's have. a gigantic one. Do you want to do this one quick? Yeah. Why is is this one bigger than the normal ones? It looks huge. Huge. Hmm. All right. Well, let's do it. Weird. If we didn't mention it earlier, there is an achievement for getting all the dolmens in Cyrodiil. So that's another good group thing that you can do. Also a good way to test your build out too if you want to try soloing it. Yeah, because other people don't come up much. And if you don't have a very good build, there's a website you can go to that has really good builds. <laughs> Deltiusgaming.com! Okay. Come on, that never that's gets old. Plug there. That never gets old. No, never. Have a standard. Oh. Made it. <laughs> this one does look a lot bigger. It looks cool. Look how big that is up there. It's wonder... strange, right? Yeah, I don't remember him. I wonder if it spawns a boss, like if that's what it bizarre. Oh well. We'll see. Now there's one way up north that you actually like can't get to. That's you... Bruma. And okay. if it, well actually it, it's uh, like Dawnstar or something like that way up north but if you complete the Bruma quest that one actually opens up as if you've done it. Weird. Oh that's right. I just did that the other day. Oh, you know what else is cool? You can share quests with friends. So, like, if you have a quest here, somebody else doesn't have it, you can share it with the group. I wonder if a boss will spawn here. Hopefully. Come on, boss. Ah. Uh, no. Boo. You, you know it's a boss because Molech Ball will say the boss's name, and then if you look at the boss, they'll have a name. Aw. Aw. Beat ya. Beat ya. Alright. That's steep. Can you mark that code up? Thanks. Looks like There's Red's pretty active. Alright, so I put a rally point on it. That's the Steed Munda Stone? Yep, that's where you want to head to. Does that make a pretty big difference? Uh, to get to the giant, it sure does. No, I mean, like, do you go, do you actually use the Steed Munda Stone in here? I don't use the Steed Munda Stone, but I, I'm using, I don't know what Munda Stone I'm using. I'm going to, I'm going to switch just to see what it does. Isn't that speed? Yeah, some speed. people said it's like not noticeable, and some people said it's like, oh my god, you have to have it. Oh. And you can only have one Mundo Stone at a time. I don't know if you guys know about that, but I have... Unless you have that special set. Oh, yeah. What is that called? That set called? I can't remember. Twice Born Star. There you go. There's a book here. Oh, it's in Adele. I love the names in here. This is Muck Valley Cavern. <laughs> There's Newt Cave. That water looks so peaceful. It's just begging you to go in there. I don't think that's Slaughterfish, though. You know the river that runs down the right-hand side of Cyrodiil, right along the edge of the map, though? Uh, yeah. I floated all the way down that. I swam all the way down it the other day. Just just because? For, well, for I, got, science. I got knocked into the water way up high, and then I just decided to see how far I could go. And I made it all the way down to the harbor, almost <laughs> to AD area. As soon as it opens up, though, the slaughterfish are there. Oh, yeah, they killed me. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many cool things, though, along that river because it's like a channel. So there's like all these old boats, and you there's this... um. Island, um, 
dam that they made that this boat skewered itself on, and there's like a skeleton hanging off the side of the boat and stuff. They put a lot of detail into this here at all. They really did. How massive it is? It's, it's... It feels like its own world, really. And there's no loading screens. There's none. That, that's cool. All right, Steed Loot, here we go. Increase movement speed, baby. Now, uh, once you're It'll at the speed, right here, bearings. At seven hundred six. Where's Co Nugget? I'm coming, sir. I don't know. On my slow horse. Oh, dog, that can't be right. It's not. This is the one. The tower up north. I can Just tell a difference. Can, you said? I can, yeah. You're faster? Yeah, watch. I'm on my stamina horse and catching up to you. Yeah, I'm going full pelt. You are catching up to me. Yeah, imagine this with the uh, the light horse. You'd be really fast. So, how much money are you going to lose, Deltia, when uh, the the cash shop comes out? Well, <laughs> let's just say I'll be taking donations for uh, <laughs> for anyone that wants to see the new gear. I will be modeling it. Oh, someone got crowned oh. emperor. The Ebonheart Pack. Ebon Fart Pact. <laughs> I actually am pretty excited about the cash shop. I mean, we all make fun of that sort of stuff, but it is they're adding a lot of cool little fluffy things. They give you more, you know, if you want to wear a costume, wear a costume. It's fine by me. I'm going to lose so much money in that cash Oh, shop. yeah, you're going to buy tons of stuff. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know how many pets I have already. Code Dog is going to have to get, like, a, a fourth job. <laughs> that mountain range is cool. You guys are getting close. Cool. Yeah, so you see how the terrain starts turning, you know, more mountainy and hilly, and the trees start changing. That's when you know you're an Ebon Heart pack. Don't get kicked off the mountain, though. All right, so where do you go? <laughs> What's the trick here? So go to the Munda Stone. Yeah. And then you go up the mountain from there, and it's really simple. What's oh. the Munda Stone up here? Find your way through the mountain or anything like that. This is like the that. tower. I'm almost to it. Are you behind me still, or are you ahead yeah, of me? Yeah, I'm behind you. Yeah. You'll see. And then from there, it's a straight shot up to the giant. Which, I want to go kill the giant, just because. Oh, All if right. somebody has retreating maneuvers, that can help too. Especially if somebody stays back with the slower people and uses retreating maneuvers. Okay, so this is the Tower Munda Stone. Get here. And there's a path behind it. It can show you that. Be careful with the path, because it twists and turns and you can fall off if you're going full pelt. Uh. Is full pelt an official term? I think so. My official turn. How's that? Whoa, retreating maneuvers with the Munda Stone. Whoa, I'm fast. <laughs> Look Don't at this. Kicked off the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> Need to catch. Oh my gosh. This is like Skyrim. This is like Skyrim. Doesn't it feel like Skyrim when you're going like the, the what's it, the 10,000 10, oh. steps or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Oh! There's a giant up here, by the way. <laughs> it was random. So right don't get him. kicked off the giant by the giant. <laughs> Hold block. Kill the giant. He does his charge up attack and will knock you off if you're not blocking. So here, welcome with... to the, the most painful sky shard in the game. Yes. <laughs> and if you're with 20 people, you'll be like, I don't understand. There's no problem with that. Because you'll <laughs> kill him in about a second. <laughs> Okay, so from here you can like fall down the mountain, you can jump down. I'm just going to jump down. We usually the just go right back down to the Munda Stone and then go on to the next shard. I'm going to go down the mountain though and see how far I can get. Ah. Our core skills. Whoa, Delta flew past. I got me. it. 
You didn't die though, good job. It's that Steed Mundestone, it's like the new thing. Oh no. Got a new toy and... Dude, I'm so excited <laughs> about my Mundestone. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you know where it is. Doesn't take much to make me happy. So I think that about covers it. Is there anything else that would be helpful for people to know? No, I think that's about it. Just go around, get a bunch of your buddies, and don't get discouraged if you don't get them all in one day. Just come back another day. And there is add-ons that show you exactly where they are. I didn't want to put that on because the console players probably won't have that. So right. um, I will probably get some screenshots of where those are in every zone, hopefully. Um, so that way you guys can come there. If you, But if you want to explore and find them that way too, it's it's fun. There are a whole bunch of sky shards around the lake in the center. If you want to pull that up, Deltia. Um, oh yeah, you can't get those easily. Those we generally save those for last, and then you can, if you own all those keeps, you can just cut, jump from keep to keep, grab the sky shard, go to the next keep, jump, you know, jump around. It's just easier that way. If you run all the way around the the lake, it does take a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, cool. Thanks for, so much for showing these tips. I hope this helps out a lot of people because I know Sky Shards are really important to your character's development. So thank you, Magic and Kodog. Anytime. When, um, are you doing another one in the future or are you guys pretty busy? No, I think I'm going to be doing one um, pretty soon here. Um, right. I'll probably advertise it. I'll put it up on your site. Okay, well, we'll put it up on the site if you guys want to join them on the PC. What about consoles? You guys getting a console now? PS4! Uh. <laughs> Alright. If I do, I'd get a PS4. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Alright. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Alright, thanks.